Qatar Red Crescent is getting ready to send an aid-filled ship to Gaza. The U.S. is sending a naval force to patrol the Red Sea, currently in a Houthi-led embargo. And finally, Israeli captives demand Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for another ceasefire. Hi, this is Ali. This is The Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Qatar Red Crescent Society has announced its new relief effort for Gaza, a shipment carrying the equivalent of 30 aircrafts in aid. This comes as part of the, this comes as part of the hashtag Palestine Duty campaign, which was launched on Qatar National Day, with thousands of donations coming in from citizens and residents of the Gulf state. The donations will provide vital food, medical supplies, and shelter for displaced Palestinians. Now, the United States is gearing up to send a naval coalition to the Red Sea after Houthi rebels disrupted the flow of ships headed to Israel. France, the UK, and Canada will also join the 10-member coalition. The Houthis have responded by saying that they are prepared for any joint group the US sends their way. Yemen's Houthis have blocked located shipping to Israel and fired drones and missiles towards the country. On that note, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is facing fresh calls from Israeli captives to agree to a new ceasefire for their release. Pressure is piling on the Israeli leader following recent news that Israeli forces fatally shot three Israeli captives who were waving white flags. Israel is now reportedly in talks over the captives. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.